welcome to Retire with Clarity. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Stuart Fields and John Lawton. They're managing partners of Open Air Advisors. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you both today? John, how are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Thank you. Stuart, how are you? I am doing well. Glad to be here. It's so nice to be together with the two of you because I know that you have such amazing information to share with the viewing audience. And you've been very busy helping people plan for a comfortable retirement. And let me ask you a question, John. In your opinion, why do so many people not have a comprehensive retirement plan as they're in the retirement years or getting very close to the retirement years? You know, that's a really great question, Cynthia. And I, I find so many people going at them, going out on their own and doing things themselves. Sure. And when you're doing things yourselves, a lot of times you don't have the right tools or the planning software or all those things that, that make a uh, a full retirement plan. Mm. So I think a lot of people have the different pieces and you know I, I have a lot of people that come in mm -hmm, and they'll mm -hmm. ask specific questions about one aspect of their retirement plan. So okay. um, especially someone that's uh, approaching that age where they're about to take Social, Secu Social Security. Sure. And so they're starting to think about hey what, what is the right strategy in regards to Social Security and, and one of the things that I would just say is for that individual you can't build a plan on Social Security without looking at everything else. Absolutely. You know, knowing all those other ingredients to making a full financial plan, you know, that's one aspect, but that goes into all the other pieces and, and, and how we do and how we come up with that, that full financial plan, so. Absolutely. Thank you, John. Stuart, let me ask you, what are some of the components of a well-designed financial plan for someone in retirement? Do you take into consideration taxes, inflation, things like that? Absolutely. There's a, there's a lot of, that goes into a full financial plan. And, and going off to what John said, you know, do it yourself first. And a lot of people are just busy. I mean, especially right now with the pandemic going on, you know, people are, are finding out what life is really about right now. So um, a real comprehensive plan has probably seven, eight moving parts. And mm. how you do one thing always affects the other. I learned how to do the Rubik's Cube at a really young age, and everyone always starts with the white side, I feel like, um, or the top side. They'll get that first piece perfectly, and then they'll yeah. try to do side number two. Well, if you know anything about a Rubik's Cube, that's not how you do a Rubik's Cube, because when you start moving that second side, it affects incorrectly the other pieces in the plan, and that's exactly how um, a efficient plan works, when and how you take Social Security, yeah. uh, when do you retire, all those things affect of each other. So. And not only do you look at when do you retire, there's several le uh, levers. When do you retire? Um, you know, how much income are you planning on, on withdrawing? Are you married? So there's a lot of factors in there too as far as tax planning is really big. And I feel mm -hmm. like that's one of the big things that's most overlooked because when you're working, you don't have a lot of control. You do and you don't when it comes to tax planning. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that we work with are W-2 earners. But when you retire, retirement's the first time you get to pick and choose where your income actually comes from. And, sure. and if you do that correctly, it can be a really, really powerful tool, not only in today's world, but you're down the road in your retirement, your beneficiary's retirement. It's a really cool picture when everything really starts talking um, together. And of course, you've got investment management, the stocks, the bonds. Mm. Everyone right now is, is talking about the market, what it's going to, going to do. And we do know what it's going to do. It's going to, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy yeah, for, yeah. for a long, long time. So, uh, but depending on how that is set up, is really going to affect Social Security, Medicare, taxes, um, and income planning. So we do a really good job here at mm -hmm. Open Air putting those pieces together for our clients. Sure, thank you, Stuart. John, let me ask you a question. Is it still the number one fear that most people have that they're going to run out of money during retirement? You know, I think whenever, I would say yeah. I mean, I think yeah. anyone that's approaching retirement is, is looking at that and, you know, a lot of people, uh, they have these numbers that they've they've, they've thought that you know goals that they've set as far as I want to accumulate this amount of wealth and then I'll be able to retire yeah. and, and a lot of times there's not a lot behind that they just you know I need a, a certain amount I need a million dollars and then I can yeah. retire right <laughs> carries around the <laughs> big the number, number. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. exactly and, and, and I think uh, one of the the interesting things about what we do is every everyone's number is different yeah. you know it, it, there's so many factors that come into play there. Everyone's number's different. Um, and then knowing the right ways to, just like Stuart said, it's been mm -hmm. a crazy year. I mean, with, with all the different things that have, have happened. And if you are one of the, if you are a retiree and you're taking money out of your portfolio right now, what assets are you, how are you 
driving that income yeah. so that it's going to be there for you, not not just today, mm -hmm. uh, but years and years and years down the road. Stuart mentioned something about tax planning yeah. just a minute ago, and I think one of the the things that I get really passionate about mm -hmm. with with retirement planning, especially when it comes to taxes, is we're not looking at today. I mean, we, we are, of course, we want to make sure that you're, you're ready today to be able to retire. Sure. But we're not just going to take into, to, when we when we do a full financial plan, and especially when it, as it re relates to taxes, we're not mm -hmm. looking at just today. We're looking at your taxes, not today, five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road. Also, and you mentioned this with legacy planning, mm -hmm. is what are the taxes going to look like whenever we pass the money on to the beneficiary? Absolutely. For some people, that's really important. I have a lot of people that come in my office that say, I want my last check to bounce. And for those, you know, <laughs> sure. However, you, yeah, again, everyone's situation is different. So we'll make, you know. We'll, haven't we'll, seen it happen yet. We, I haven't seen yeah. that happen yet. <laughs> uh, but we balance the plan for, for the needs of the person. But I think that's what's so important is looking at all of those years because if we're only looking year over year, you're going to reduce the taxes for that year, but you're sure. not looking at the full. You're not looking at the full picture, sure. and, and knowing that over a time period, there's a lot that we can do to help um, relieve that pressure at that point. Absolutely, and Stuart, there's a difference between tax preparation and tax planning. Can we talk a little bit about that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's one of my favorite things I like to talk about. I call uh, tax preparers grade testers. They're basically grading, uh, grading your exam. It's almost like when you're in college or, or in high school, you'd walk in, you, you give the teacher your, your exam and they would grade it. That's essentially what most tax preparers do. Um, there's some really good ones out there, so I don't want to take any credit from, from them, but they're super busy. They've got mm -hmm. a lot of clients, uh, but it's really our jobs to control what are we handing over to that tax preparer, whether it's an enrolled agent or a CPA. We really want to control that uh, that paper, that, that test. Sure. And so when you start thinking years in advance, that's when we can start controlling and 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 doing better on our test, essentially, because Absolutely. once it, you know, the best time to talk to a to your CPA or tax preparer isn't in April or isn't in January because you can't do anything uh, for the previous year, sure. for the most part. Sure. So it's it's almost too late. What, when you want to start talking about strategy, it's definitely at the minimum within the year that you want to do something, but also years in advance. So mm -hmm. tax planning is forward thinking, okay. And tax uh, preparing is is in the moment. Is is basically how, how much do I own Uncle Sam? So yeah. we like to focus on on definitely tax planning and, and paying the least amount, you know, our fair share, of course, but of course. Uh, mitigate our, our our liabilities to Uncle Sam, both Absolutely. in today's world and, and legacy planning. Yes, because we're very hard for our money. We want to keep as much as possible right. and yes. still pay our taxes. Sure. This is the perfect time for us to open up the phone lines to the viewers at home. Would you gentlemen agree with me? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. To the viewers at home, the phone lines are now open. That number to call is 844-333-6059. What you're calling in for today is a complimentary portfolio review. If you have some questions about where you currently are on your path for retirement, pick up the phone and call. Have these gentlemen take a look at what your plans are, what your goals are, what your dreams are. You deserve to retire comfortably and with peace of mind. Again, this offer is available to the first 10 callers only. The number is 844-333-6059. We'll be right back after this very short commercial break. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you wanna go? And who do you hope to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? 
Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review today. Welcome back to Retire with Clarity. My name is Cynthia DeFazio and I'm joined today by Stuart Fields and John Lawton, their managing partners of Open Air Advisors. Gentlemen, a great first segment of the show, of course, talking about the importance of planning for retirement and we really focus in a little bit on taxes. But Stuart, I want to ask you, let's talk a little bit about how the company was formed. How did you come up with Open Air Advisors? Well, absolutely. Um, you know, Chris and, and John and I worked together um, a lot you know, at a, at a previous firm, and, and we we had a lot of strengths, and we we worked really well together. And one thing that we found that we had a lot of commonality in is we wanted to do what was best interest of the client. And mm -hmm. so we'd always talk. Of course, we had big company meetings, and and you had to do that. You know, you're spending a third of your time, if not half of your day, like in the meetings or, or preparing or doing something on your metrics. And we're taken away from working for our clients. And so the company was getting a little bit larger. Like, how do we do something better? There's gotta be something in place. And why I really like John and Chris is we're young and, and we're very technology driven. And I, I like to seek out a lot of information out there. So we started kind of putting this puzzle together. Like, can we do this better? And the answer was absolutely. You know, with the resources that were out there, uh, we thought it was pretty easy for us to form a couple of these things together and, and have it a collaborative experience, not only with the partners and with our, our, our clients, but with the mm -hmm. world. I mean, this is sure. exactly what this is for, is trying to communicate with the people that um, that we're not unable to communicate on a daily basis, or hopefully in the future be able to um, to help them out or answer any questions. But, sure. you know, open air to me is kind of having this type of conversation, you know, yeah. kind of sit back and, and, and let's just air out what, what's your concerns, you know, why haven't you retired, when are you going to retire? Um, and that's really what open air is about, is really having that open, collaborative experience, um, not the stuffy dental office, you know, you know, experience exactly. where as right. soon as you walk in the office, that smell hits you. No, we don't want that here. <laughs> um, and, you know, we, we wanted to bring something fresh, exciting to every meeting um, and literally focus every minute of the day on our clients. Sure. So, um, and the only early way that we could do that was doing something ourselves. And I love that. I think that's amazing. John, let me ask you, what is a typical day like for you in the office? Are they ever the same? <laughs> I would say, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, especially this year. Right. Uh, this year has been uh, a really just, uh, you know, go down in the history books, I, yes. is what I would say. Um, expect the unexpected. Expect right? the unexpected. Um, again, the, the importance of having a plan, right? Yes. Uh, so that you yes. can manage through these things. Uh, but a, a typical day is, I mean, starts early and finishes late. And, yeah. and I, I would say, um, Stuart made a really great point about we're young and, and always looking for more information. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Stuart mentioned a minute ago, I, I don't know if he has not, if he has or not, but we're both certified financial planners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I know that education is important to me. I know it's important to him as well. Mm -hmm. um, Chris is a, a chartered retirement plan specialist. And so mm. um, with the three of us together, um, we're credentialed people. But the typical and day fiduciaries. and fiduciaries as well. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, but I would say there's no no typical day other than really trying to uh, be there for my clients when they need yeah. uh, uh, guidance, uh, information, guidance or a call. I mean, it, like you said, this has been a crazy year and yeah. being open and available for for the people that I care about. I mean, I would tell you my uh, I know my clients. Yeah. I, I know them. I know their families and uh, they're my friends Absolutely. and so I want to make sure that they can get a hold of me and, and get the information that they're looking for or a steadying voice when things are going crazy. Um, yeah. it's, it's been a wild year and making sure that they're comfortable in, in revisiting the plan and if, if it's a money conversation but a lot of times it's you know it's it's health issues, it's family issues, it's uh, getting the the windows replaced on yeah. your house where where where's the money going to come from for this yeah um, we get those questions every day and and I think I get frustrated whenever I have to when I'm trying to make a phone call I want to get information yeah. and I wind up you know talking to this person who's going to transfer me over here or you're just yes, you know you're waiting on worst. hold yeah and and that's with open air, that's one of the things I think is one of the most powerful things is having access to, to us, the advisors, mm -hmm. um, so that we can give you the right information quickly um, and know where it's coming from. Sure. 
Communication so. is so important. We can't stress that enough, especially when we went through something like the pandemic 2020. A lot of people throughout the years and with different areas of the shows that I'm doing, obviously, communication, they hadn't heard from their advisors. There was like no communication. So Stuart, let me ask you, how important is it to communicate between advisor and client? It's the number one thing. It's the it's the thing that the clients care about the most. And actually, this is a stat I, I kind of say a lot. Mm -hmm. And the number one complaint about a financial advisor, when I ask people, most people would say, well, performance. Mm -hmm. um, but over 60, 70% of people, their number one complaint is communication. Mm -hmm. So kind of going back to why we started Open Airs, we wanted it open. We didn't want to be a, a me too type firm. We wanted it to be different. We wanted to talk to our clients mm -hmm. and, and communicate with them, um, especially with not just what's going on now. Of course, there's, there's a need. I mean, if you're not talking to your clients, I mean, what else do you need to talk to I your know, clients with something know, right now? Exactly. So, but we don't need a pandemic to, to help to make us write an email or or do a Zoom or, mm -hmm. or call our clients. We don't need that. And that's, again, going back to what we just said, that's why we did this. You know, we want to talk to our clients. We don't want to yeah. have a thousand clients that were just like, oh my God, did you talk to Bob? Who's Bob? No, we don't want that. Exactly. So it's all, it's all about communication. And, and the more you can communicate, the better um, emotionally um, the client feels about their plan and the better they can make it through some volatile moments like we're currently seeing. Sure, and along those lines of communication, we tapped in on the fact that you're all fiduciaries. So why is that important to the viewing audience? Why is it a gift to work with a fiduciary, John? I, I think that's, I. it's one of the most important things. Um, I think anyone's, you're always looking for someone's motivation. Mm -hmm. I think anytime you're in a, uh, uh, you're, you're engaging someone in their mm -hmm. practice, you're always looking for that motivation. What, what, what motivates them? And, and I would say, uh, as a fiduciary, you know that I'm sitting on the same side of the table as you, mm -hmm. and we're looking at the investment universe to make the right decision for you. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. But I, I think that's gotta be, for the people that I work with, um, being able to help them make the right decision, mm -hmm. and looking through, you know, People are busy and they don't sure. have the time to look through uh, or research or um, to be able to do all of these things. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. there's a very broad investment universe out there and that's what I work, that's, I, I get up every day and that's what gets me excited. Yeah. Uh, because finding something, an innovative tool um, to be able to help someone succeed financially, there's no better feeling than that, especially when I can show value and really add value to their overall situation especially when they're proud of it and we talk to their family about what we're doing and we communicate that plan. Or we were talking about the, the CPA earlier and, and Stuart made a great point mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. um, that's, that's your grade. Every year that's, that's the grade that you got for how we did. Mm -hmm. I think one of the most powerful things I can do is communicate with that CPA as well. Okay. And when we bring that team together, um, so that the CPA knows exactly what we're doing, what are we trying to do to help us reduce, maybe not just today, but in the future, what that tax situation is going to look like. Sure. But bringing that whole team around the client, yeah. there's nothing more powerful than that. That's where we can show value. At the end of the day, do great work for the people that we work for. Which absolutely, is what we want. absolutely. That's that's a good point. John brings up. It's like we're not we're not attorneys, we're not CPAs, mm -hmm. um, but what we do and what we're willing to do is work with their existing relationships. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if they really like their current, but a lot of people say, well, I don't think my CPA does that, or um, or I think my trust or my will needs to be reviewed. I, I need a new one. So not only do we have a lot of experience of working with you know area. Um, attorneys and CPAs, but we'll help our clients actually interview those people. Um, okay. You know, some people aren't willing to do advanced planning because it takes up too much of the time, or that CPA might charge them 350 bucks an hour to do so. Like, right. you know, we've got plenty of, you know, accountants on our side that work well with us and that we can do some really good planning and save the client a lot of money. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, this is the perfect time for us to go ahead and reopen up the phone lines to the viewers at home. To the viewers at home, the number to call is 844-333-6059. Again, you deserve the right to know that you're on the right path for retirement. Does your plan make sense to you? Does it, is it something that you can easily understand? You're being offered a complimentary portfolio review today. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call. This is the first 10 callers only, 844-333-6059. We have to take a very short commercial break, but when we come back, we're going to have so much more, so stay tuned. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. 
Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. And welcome back to Retire with Clarity. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Stuart Fields and by John Lawton, their managing partners of Open Air Advisors. Gentlemen, when we were going to the commercial break, the phone lines were already lighting up. And I love to see that because there's so much interest and excitement about gaining that complimentary consultation. People want to know that they're on the right path for retirement. So Stuart, let me ask you a question. If they were fortunate enough to receive one of those spots this week, what can they expect when they come in for their consultation? Absolutely. Um, you know, they would expect an open conversation, just communication, kind of find out, um, one, why do they call us? Um, first, I would say thank you for listening. Thank you for calling in. Um, mm -hmm. We really appreciate that. We love people um, meeting people through television. It's very exciting. Um, but, you know, they would, I would get to meet meet them they get to meet the real Stuart um, you mm -hmm. know we don't have a you know a smoke and mirror session you know you'll see pictures of my friend uh, my, my family my friends you'll know me and I'll know yeah. you more importantly so um, we'll start there we'll kind of find out why did you pick up the phone what questions do you have um, there's been a lot of changes in the um, legislation right now so mm -hmm. how does that impact their plan so kind of update their their current plan um, or one ask them if they have a plan you know a lot of people um, spend a lot of money, you know, coming up with these really nice binders, and, and but they're 10 years old. So sure. um, I always say, you know, if you have a plan, bring it. Um, and, and, and if you and if you don't, we'll start asking the appropriate questions to begin that process. Mm -hmm. um, it's very collaborative. I want to listen to them, and that's the most important thing that we'll do is find out what are we trying to achieve here. Sure. It's not my goal as being fiduciary. I'm sitting on the same side of the table as you. Let me listen to you. Uh, let me find out some of the pieces that you have in place and let me put them together for you. You sure. know, going back to you know what I said earlier, I love Rubik's Cubes and I think every single plan I put in place is a little bit different. Mm. So just having ears, trying to find out what we solve and then going, going to work. You know, like yeah. I said, we've got the resources in place. We're not trying to do it all. Uh, we've got some really good experts behind us that helps us bring the puzzle together. Okay. And then John, how often do you see people on a consultation basis? I mean, when you're having the first consultation, is it about an hour that you set aside or what does that time frame look like? Yeah. Uh, usually, you know, I think Stuart talked a lot about, you know, the, the components, right? The, yeah. the, there's a, an amount of time where we're trying to find, um, you know, the components to the plan. Okay. So we're gonna ask you about your social security and mm -hmm. having the statements great, because when we can see um, the different lines there, if you're already taking social security, that's fine. We probably don't need that, but we need to know how much you're getting on a month to month basis. Okay. Uh, we need um, to look at the, the accounts to see how much risk we're taking. Are we taking enough risk? We'll do a fee analysis to know. That's part of the, the um, our analysis or our, our review is looking at the different components I mean, really breaking them apart to see what is here, portfolio deconstruction, what what we're, what makes up this this overall plan, mm -hmm. um, and then going through it and seeing. Uh, at the end of the day, I think most people want to know: Am I going to be okay? Sure. And yes. so, by the end of this, you know, knowing what your goals are and understanding: Is it going to be okay? And and. For most of it, it's, it's there, there's all there's levers that we can pull. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Um, it's just what does that plan look like when we're done? Okay. Okay. So. Stuart, I have to ask you if someone is in the audience today and they already have a plan in place or they're working with an advisor, how important is it to have a second opinion from a fresh set of eyes? 
I would say critical. Um, you know, you never know really what's happening behind the scenes with someone that you're, you're working with. Um, you know, I always like to say I'm at the age point where I'm not going anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people that I, I sit down with have advisors who they've worked with for maybe a long, long time, but you know, eventually everyone's got to retire. Sure. So, um, so again, I'm not trying to be critical of anything, but I think as, as much time as I spend um, with the tools that we have in place, it's just kind of giving them a second opinion. and at the worst, what they've realized is that they've got a really good plan in place. And mm -hmm. that's really my job regardless, being a fiduciary, being a CFP, I want to make sure that they have the confidence to to be okay. And that's really what I, what I do. Um, so again, I think second opinions are critical. It might open their eyes and say, hey, I'm not doing that. Or hey, uh, you know, I'm kind of listening to some old advice, you know, ways that you're supposed to do it 5, mm -hmm. 10, 15, 30 years ago. Uh, maybe Stuart's right, maybe John's right. Um, and so that's really exciting to kind of see them, okay, I never heard, learned that before. I think that could help me. So there's a go, there's go, I promise everybody there will be a moment that you will find, I didn't know that and I can apply that to my situation. Mm -hmm. So that's really exciting when we kind of bring those things together. Absolutely. And is it ever too late to get started on a retirement plan, John? No, uh, it's, it's never too late. You, everyone needs one. Okay. Uh, you know, in, in the past, this was all done for you and it's not that way anymore. Mm. Um, when was the last time you saw a pension, Stuart? I mean, yeah. it's, unless yeah, you're a wow. government employee or, or you know, work for defense, you see them in hospitals, defense contractors and government employees, but you just don't see them anymore. No, now more the 401k than and anything. So, and so now it's up to you. Yeah. And, and are you prepared to be able to do that on your own? So having that plan built for you, mm -hmm. um, we can help you gu guide you through that, that transition from I'm working and accumulation to I li I'm living off my money, I'm taking a paycheck mm -hmm. and I'm getting that monthly payment on a, on a monthly basis. Sure. Um, transitioning into the distribution phase, if you will, and yeah. learning how to make that money last for many, many years, because so many people are retiring earlier today than before. Yeah. Gentlemen, I can't believe that we're almost to the end of another great week and another great show. Thank you both for all of your quality information that you've shared with the viewers at home. And again, I love watching the phone lines lighting up. It's starting right now. <laughs> <laughs> the number on your screen to call is 844-333-6059. We know you have a lot of questions about how to retire comfortably and with peace of mind. Again, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call today. You're being offered a complimentary portfolio review. The number is 844 Four three 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 six zero five nine. Thank you for spending time with us this week. We can't wait to see you back here again next week. Be safe, be happy, be blessed, and keep the questions coming.